Hi everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Season 1, Episode 11, Vortex. So, like I said in the last video, this episode is mostly about Odo, because throughout Deep Space Nine, we're learning about all of these new alien life forms, and just kind of how they fit into the franchise and the universe. And this episode, kind of unfortunately, reminds me of the Dax episode. So, if you watched that video, I talked about how it's all about Dax, and we're learning about the Trill, but when you get to the end of the episode, like, there's no resolution for it. It just ends, and you, you don't get anything. It's like, okay, so I learned a lot about her species, but it didn't solve the problem of the episode. And this episode kind of reminds me of that. So very early on, there's like these twins, and they come in to Quark's to like buy and sell information and stuff and it's kind of a fun scene actually because you see uh ron um you see quark's brother and he puts four glasses down and then he turns to get a, a glass of liquor a bottle of liquor or whatever and he turns and there's five glasses and so it's like oh okay so that's that's odo so it's kind of a fun little scene and then uh, one of the twins ends up dying, and then it just becomes this, like, blood feud trying to get another criminal. And this guy starts telling Odo about, oh, he's like, oh, you're a changeling. That's kind of cool. I didn't know you guys were in this quadrant yet. I thought you were only in the Gamma Quadrant. Which I want to pause right there, and just, like, Odo jumps on that, because he's he doesn't know anything about his origin. He doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know his species. He's never heard the name changeling before. So it's kind of interesting. That being said, this is not the first shapeshifter we've seen in Star Trek. This is like the third or fourth. There was one in the animated series. There was one in the movie, The Undiscovered Country, the, the woman that like kisses Kirk. There was one of the ones, there were two, I guess, in uh, The Next Generation where it was the woman who wanted to just explore, but like her like guardian wouldn't let her and becomes the giant beast that fights with Worf, whatever. So like shapeshifters are not new to the franchise. So for whatever reason though, they want to treat Odo like he is super special. And that's probably because he doesn't know and even though there's different types of changelings or shapeshifters, he's the only one of this particular kind that we've at least seen before. But overall, I, I, it bothers me that they don't even like a, acknowledge any of these other species that are shapeshifters. Because like, nobody's even gone to Odo and been like, oh, are you this race? Oh, are you this race? It's just like, oh, you're a shapeshifter. That's weird. And I don't know. It just kind of bothers me throughout this, throughout this entire series. Um, but overall, this, this guy is trying to bait Odo into letting him go by giving him all this information. Like, oh, I've seen your people in the, the Gamma Quadrant, and they're, it's by this nebula, and they're kind of reclusive because they don't trust people. And then when you get to the end of the episode, he just says that, oh, this was not true. This is all myth. But it's interesting because a lot of this is a little prolific, and a lot of it does kind of come, it uh, does happen as we progress in the series, and Odo does find his people. Overall, it is a good episode, and it's it's great to see, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, the, the actor that plays Odo, who's a phenomenal actor, um, get, like, his, this is the first main spotlight episode for him, and he's he's great in it, but by the time we get to the end, I'm just like, like, we didn't really learn anything, like, it's just like, that's it, all done, so... I don't know. I think it's a good episode. I just don't think it's... And it's it's a good episode. It's an important episode through the f episode, through the franchise. But as a standalone, it, it was a little weak for me. So for those who have seen this one, what do you guys think about Odo and being a, a shapeshifter in this franchise? Do you think it makes him special or not? What do you guys think about him learning about his origins? Um, I'm going to try not to get too spoilery in through later stuff because, like I said, I'm pretty new to Deep Space Nine. So go ahead. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate all of your views, and I will see you guys next time for Battle Lines.